Good morning, guys. Tony Maritato here. I want to talk about recovery time frames after a total knee replacement, what's normal, what you can expect, and when you should start to feel concerned. So a question came in about an individual who's five and a half weeks post-op, and they're still struggling to walk forward down the stairs normally. I would tell you that five and a half weeks is very, very early in the recovery process following a total knee replacement. I've got patients that are otherwise healthy, doing great, full range of motion, you know, very little pain or soreness, um, able to do everything they want during the day. And they are still having a hard time walking forward, step over step, down the stairs at three months. So you can't really compare your situation to everybody else, but I can provide some loose guidelines on what you can expect for some specific activities. Typically in my physical therapy clinic, we are treating patients from one or two days post-op through discharge, which could be 12 weeks, it could be six months. In some cases, I've seen patients 24 months after a knee replacement. Um, but the normal benchmarks are, the first one to three days, you're really just recovering from the surgery. You're dealing with the anesthesia. Sometimes there's some bowel or bladder issues from medication. Sometimes you have an upset stomach. You, you might have some signs or symptoms associated with anemia. You get fatigued really quickly. The first three days, just give yourself a break. Let yourself recover. Let yourself build back to where you, you know, are feeling somewhat normal again. Um, from days four through days 10, we're looking at building strength, building coordination, and building confidence in your ability to stand, to walk, to move around the house, either still using a walker, but starting to transition from a walker to a cane or from a walker to no assistive device. It's not unreasonable that around 10 to 14 days, you're off of your cane, you're off of a walker. Moving forward from there, going from the two-week mark to the four-week mark, we're really continuing to work on range of motion. We want to achieve full extension if possible. We want to get close to or past 90 degrees of flexion. So that's going to be measured by your physical therapist. You're going to have a sense of where you are. But typically by four weeks, we want to be uh, 90 degrees or more flexion, full extension. I can tell you that patients will usually go from sleeping on the couch or in a recliner for the first one to two weeks to starting to sleep in bed between two and four weeks. Um, we're, we're looking at increasing your ability to walk. So you're, you're walking without an assistive device usually by two to four weeks. You're walking anywhere from five to 10 to 15 minutes at a time. You're no longer getting short of breath. You're no longer feeling fatigued or dizzy or nauseous when you're on your feet for, for 10 to 15 minutes. Clients will start to return to driving between four and six weeks. Typically in the US, if it's a right total knee replacement, you'll wait a little longer to drive. If it's a less total knee replacement, you'll get back to driving a little sooner, but most surgeons will say, for driving, you should be off the narcotic medication and you should be using a cane or no assisted device so that you're fully confident in your ability to manage the car. Um, going from six weeks to 12 weeks, we're gonna make kind of a big jump. The pain, the swelling, it's significantly reduced. The incision is typically healed to the point where there's no more scabs, there's no more seepage the stary strips or any kind of dressing or bandaging has been removed uh, a couple weeks earlier and the skin looks great. You're showering, you're bathing, sometimes people are getting into the swimming pool if their incision is fully sealed at this point and you're really starting to make that transition back to normal life. You're going to the grocery store, you're running errands, you're doing what you need to do. From 12 weeks to six months, you're starting to really kick into a fitness routine. If you're somebody that's getting back to fitness, if you're somebody who used to enjoy cycling, walking, gardening, things like that, from three months to six months, that's when you're really getting back into those recreational activities. Even my golfers, my pickleball players are starting to get back. They're starting to hit the ball around a little bit and do some stuff. 
I typically say between six months and 12 months, you're starting to forget that you had the surgery. That is usually the time frame where the, the incision is almost gone. It, it's still visible, but there's no restrictions, no sensitivity. Those numb spots, the zingers that you feel, all of that stuff is usually gone between six and 12 months. And, and you're really feeling confident back to normal. You might even be better, healthier, more active than you were three months prior to surgery because you had been dealing with so much pain and limitation and stability before surgery that now that three to six months, or sorry, six to 12 months after surgery, you've passed where you were. And from there, the sky's the limit. It really is whatever you want to do. Now, does every single person fit that timeline? Absolutely not. You know, there, there are lots of patients that struggle to get to those numbers, those achievements. There, there's good statistical information on PubMed and other um, peer-reviewed research that suggests one in five individuals is not happy with the outcome of their total knee replacement. Many patients will tell me they feel worse than they did before the knee replacement. They feel worse after the knee replacement. So I don't want you to hold yourself to any kind of standard. Everything that I just said up to this point is really meaningless to an individual. The information that I shared is population-based information. It's if I took 100, 1,000, 100,000 individuals who had a knee replacement, what are the averages? But none of that stuff applies to you. You are a unique individual. You come with a unique history. You have unique variables within where you live, who you live with, what kind of things that you do, what the kind of things that you used to do. Um, so as much as I try not to share general guidelines. I, I do want people to know that this is kind of the, the standard, but that doesn't apply to each individual. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you think I'm totally off base, absolutely let me know. My goal here on this channel is to support you and help answer your questions in any way that I can.